Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop and in this video I want to show you how you would update WordPress to the newest version. Well, on my site, WebsiteCreationWorkshop.com, I have a special page called How to Update WordPress to the Newest Version and I'm going to walk you through this process now. Well, when a new version of WordPress comes out, a new dot version, so this version is 4.6. So that's a brand new version. We went from 4.5 to 4.6. So this is called a major update. And you want to always wait a few days for the plugin authors and theme authors to make any updates as well. So sometimes when a new version comes out, your plugin and theme authors, they just need a little bit of time to catch up if they hadn't caught up before the update was released. Now, the first thing you want to do is back up your site. And I use a plugin called Backup Buddy. It is a premium plugin. And here is my link for them, the backupplugin.com. You want to make sure you have a backup before you do any updates. And in this video, I'm not going to do a backup. I'll leave that up to you. Well, the first place I start is I update plugins. I update plugins before I update the core WordPress software. Now, another safety precaution you could do before you update your plugins is you could deactivate them all first. But let me go into a site and I'm going to walk you through this process. So I have a site called thebestthemes.com and I'm going to come in here to the dashboard and I can see I have a bunch of updates. Now I can see there's the updates menu item here and it shows four updates. Two of them are plugin updates. I always get into the habit of going up here to this update symbol. But either way, clicking on this or this will get you to the updates area. Now, looking at my guide, I'm going to update my plugins first. So I'm going to come in here and here are my plugins. I'm going to update them first. So I'm going to select all and click update plugin. Now you could do them one at a time. So maybe I'll do that. I'll do them one at a time. Now this takes a little bit longer. So if you want to do the fast method, select all, click update plugins. But I only have two, so I'm going to update them one at a time. And that has updated. And I'm going to look at my site. So after each step, I want to look at my site. Let's come back here. Notice this decremented. It was at four. Now it's at three. And I'll select the last remaining one. I'll click Update Plugin. And notice that changed now to two. And I'll just hit Refresh. And site's still working. And you might want to, you know, click around your site a little bit after each step. Uh, and I'll just come back here to Home. All right, so I'm going to click on the Update again. And the next thing I'm going to do is update the WordPress software. So I updated my plugins. I viewed my site by clicking around. Now I'm at this stage to update WordPress. So I'm going to click Update Now. Now notice I don't want to download WordPress 4.6. That's mostly for programmers and developers if they want to look at the code. I just click on the Update Now button. And generally, I don't move while it goes through its update process. Now it says Welcome to 4.6. And notice they put a video so you can now see the changes of the new WordPress software. Word so I'll stop that. And then I'm going to click on this little symbol again. And notice I have a plugin update again. And you're thinking, well, I already did the plugins. Often after you update the core software, there may be some other plugins that need to be updated again. So I just updated WordPress and now I'm at the then update plugins again. So I'm going to just update this again. And now this has changed to one. So I have only one update left, which is the theme update. So let me look at this. 
I want to view my site again. I want to click around my site before I go to update my themes. So here's my site. I'll just click refresh and maybe I'll, you know, click around a bit, look at my site. You know, it's looking good. So I'm going to come back here. I'm clicking between browser tabs as I'm watching the steps. So I clicked around. Now I'm going to go and update my themes. Sometimes it's better to check with your theme company first before you do an update. So when there's a major update, you might want to check with your theme company first. But in this instance, if I go to Appearance Themes, the update that is available is not the one I'm currently using, so this should not cause a problem. Again, I could update from here. This is a new feature in 4.6, but I just like to be in the habit of updating from just one place. So now I'm going to select all and click Update Themes. And now that symbol went away. The updates, there's no more little orange symbols here either. So plugins are up to date, themes are up to date, and coming over to this browser, refreshing my tab, and I can click around, and everything is up to date. Looking at my steps again here, view your site again, click around your site, and make sure everything looks good and I have done that and I am done. If you ever want to get back and see that video again on what is new in this version of WordPress, come over here to the little WordPress logo and click on that and then you'll be able to see the video on what is new and then they'll put often down below little explanations of different improvements and other things that you can look at. So that is it. That's how you update WordPress to the newest version. If you ever uh, forget these steps, just come to my site and you should see on the right hand sidebar uh, how to update WordPress, a link to this handy dandy page. That's what I do anytime I have to do an update. I just come back to my steps, step through my steps, and then I know I'm following things in the proper order. And if you don't yet have a WordPress website, I have a program for beginners called the Website Creation Workshop. You can click here to find out more. And if you already have a WordPress website and know the basics, you're no longer a beginner. I've got a program called the Website Transformation Workshop. You can click there to check it out. This is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop.